Welcome back, boys and girls. Outdoors Jeff here today. Uh, beautiful day outside. Uh, it really is. First day of spring. Uh, very excited for that. It was still a little cool, though. Maybe maybe upper 40s, but uh, it's still beautiful outside. I'm kind of out of the wind right here in this uh, little little corner of my deck. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try to do some filming without anything getting blown away or knocked over here. But uh, today, we're doing a hot sauce review for you. And these came from the good folks over at uh, My Own Hot Sauce. You can see right here, myownhotsauce.com. You can find them. They reached out to me on Instagram and said, hey, would you like to do a, uh, a sample of these and give us a review? And, and I was honored to. I, I love doing that. Um, I'll, I'll, I know, how, what, you know what it's like to be proud of a product you're making like that with, with hot stuff and... and uh, you know, for me personally, peppers, and, uh, you know, you you want people to try it. And I'm not trying to start a business myself, per se, but um, I know for uh, other people, you are. And, and it's important to get the word out there, get people to see your products, and hear about how they taste, how, how they smell, everything. And that's important. So I'm more than happy to help anybody. Uh, <clears throat> I've had a few people now reach out to me for to do reviews, and, and that's great. It makes me feel good, you know. People are people are watching my my channels on Instagram or YouTube, and you want me to try your stuff. That that means a lot to me. Thank you. And uh, I can return the favor by uh, supporting your 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 hot sauces. And I have not tried these yet. I, I literally just opened these packets, and uh, it's two different ones here. We have. Um, the uh the tropical blend which is this one and let me uh read off the ingredients in this for you and, and forgive me i gotta put on my my old man glasses because i am i am an old man now and, and half blind so <laughs> uh the, so the tropical blend we have um <clears throat> mango apple cider vinegar and habanero so this is our main pepper in here is habanero cilantro pineapple orange juice Mustard, lemongrass, bird beak peppers. I'm not positive what those are. I think, I could be wrong. I think those are similar to um, uh, Tabasco peppers, but I could be wrong. Uh, garlic, lime juice, and lemon juice and salt. So that's what makes up the tropical blend. The other one we have here is uh, a tamarind chutney hot sauce. This one I'm excited to try because I do like tamarind. Uh, ingredients on this one, tamarind, sugar, Amkar Marsala. I, I not sure what that is. I apologize. I can't tell you exactly what that is. Water, mango, apple cider vinegar, habanero again, cilantro, pineapple, uh, orange juice, mustard, lemongrass, again, bird beak peppers, garlic, lime juice, lemon juice, and salt. So, the habanero and the bird beak peppers are, are what's spicing these up. And let me get these glasses off because, folks, I'll tell you, whew, talk about a quick migraine wearing those things too long. I'll tell you, my, my head does not cooperate well with glasses. <laughs> it's almost easier going blind. Um, so I, I do, I'm going to try out the tropical blend first. Um, and, and you can see... You can tell by looking at, hopefully you can tell by looking at this. Uh, it's a little bright out here, a little glare, but there is a good amount of chunky stuff in here. That pepper, you can see it. This is, for a sauce, this is very thick. Very, very thick, and I like that. <clears throat> I like a thick sauce. I'm not a fan of... Uh, watery i mean sometimes like a watery vinegary kind of sauce and, and that's not too bad but uh let's get this little packet open here and i unfortunately i cannot polish these off because my wife does want to try them too so i told her she couldn't touch them until i did my review <laughs> so here we go this is the tropical blend sauce we're gonna try this out first make a good amount on the spoon right here it looks incredible that is like Almost like a relish, it looks like. Uh, let's give this a shot here. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. That is good. Wow. Chunky. This is the kind of hot sauce you can chew. That is good. 
lot of lot of chunks of, of stuff in there that really makes the flavors pop too as as you're chewing into it um wow that is incredible the heat is not bad it's a typical habanero heat um probably even on the milder side of habanero there's probably not a lot of habanero in there but um it's, it's got a good bite, but not, not overpowering with pepper. Wow, you can really taste all those other flavors, though. I mean, you, you can really taste the, uh, the pineapple and, and uh, the cilantro. I love cilantro. Anybody that knows me, I, I love Mexican food. I, I put cilantro on everything, and you can taste that. I love that in a sauce. That's, not, that's something a lot of people don't do. They don't use cilantro. And <clears throat> wow, you can really taste that. I get, I, and you can taste the citrusy flavors too, like the um, the uh, the lime, the pineapple. You, it, it really is a good hint of that. Not too salty. Um, wow, it's a really fresh. Uh, almost like I, I almost compare that to like chewing on like a, like a like a fresh pico de gallo kind of like tropical kind of of salsa somebody would make being so chunky like that i mean that, that's really it's just like relish it was like putting relish in my mouth and with, with the heat and all those flavors very incredible i love it i love that again that's my own sauce company my own sauce.com check them out they're on instagram Go to their website. You can buy these sauces right from there, I believe. Um, incredible. And based out of Florida, I believe. They're right here in the U.S. Um, wow, that is tasty. Now, now I'm super excited to try the other one. That is really, really good. Not what I'm used to in, in, in texture at all. I, I'm, I'm used to... You know, your thick sauces, and I've always said that there's two different kinds of hot sauces, and maybe three now, <laughs> but there's, there's, there's your thin, watery, vinegar-based that could sit on a shelf for 20 years and still be good, like the Basco sauce. doesn't go bad, you know, there's so much vinegar in it, and that's all you taste for the most part is vinegar on those kind of sauces. Then you have your gourmet sauces, which contain a lot more ingredients. Um, those are the kind I tend to make at home. They don't last too long, though, and, you know, you got to keep them refrigerated, and you got a lot of perishable ingredients in there. <clears throat> and they taste a lot better, though, because there's so much more work put into them. But this, this is not like a, I mean, there's almost like a, an oily kind of sauce, and they probably the natural oils from the, from the produce, I'm imagining. That's what's kind of in there for the, for, for like a sauce, but the rest is just chunky broken up like this was not run through a blender you can tell that that was i don't know their 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 the process they make to make this at, at uh my own sauce but um that's chunky like almost just ran through like a chopper almost and then mixed with some of the fluid from the from the ingredients it's really good different it's very different and it's certainly not what i'm used to again um yeah i would buy that I would buy that. Hell yeah. I, I would put that on a lot. Of, I would coat meat with that and throw it on the grill. Are you kidding me? That That is incredible. Um, wow, I still got that that citrusy flavor. There's no burn. There's no lingering burning. Like, wow, like that hurt. You know, like it was ah, so fresh and good. Just the right amount of heat. Now we're going to try the, uh, the tamarind chutney. That's the next one. And uh, this one, I, I like tamarind. I drink tamarind uh, juice a lot. I buy it at a little shop down by my work. Uh, oh, this one, uh, oh, that smells really good. It uh, almost smells a little smoky, like mustardy kind of, kind of hint to it. Let's give this a try. All right. Let's give this one a try. Excited about this one too. Oh, there's some big chunks in this too. Wow. There's like a half a tamarind in there. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, big old spoonful right here. Here we go. Sweet. 
sweet. Very sweet. I'm 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 actually gonna say this 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 tamarind chutney one is sweeter than the tropical one. My personal uh, opinion. It's good. It, it's it, it's uh, it's very sweet. Not as much heat, I don't think, unless my mouth's already adapted from the last one. I to me, it doesn't taste as hot as the the tropical blend. Um, it had definitely have more of a mustard flavor on this one. I I, I think. Uh, and I'm just double checking to see that there is mustard in this one. Um, tamarind sugar, water, mango. I'm not not picking up on the mango, but uh, definitely the pineapple flavor. Uh, yes, mustard. Yep. Lemongrass. I that that's in, in both of them. I I can taste the lemongrass. I love lemongrass and Asian food, and, all, and I I can taste that in these. That that's really good. This one, it, where it is chunky also, probably not as chunky as the Tropical Blend. Um, this one's more of like a sauce, but it, ha it has a great flavor. It's sweeter than the Tropical Blend. Uh, I can taste the tamarind, I, I like tamarind, yeah. I can definitely taste that. Uh, much sweeter, much, much sweeter. I, I do like it. Um, if I had to pick between the two, though, I'm going to go with the Tropical Blend. That one really blew my mind uh, with the texture and the flavor. This is not bad, though, either. I, I would certainly buy this one also. I would I would keep both of these in my fridge. I can tell you that. Um, I can see this one would be really good um, put on, like, maybe as, like, like, like a dipping sauce for, like, uh... Uh, something you enjoy like on a sweeter side like, like and something sweet like like almost like a sugar coat is something that you might dip like um I, I've seen some like the like the sugary kind of pretzels and stuff like that I can imagine dipping in a sauce like this that that would be really good so but definitely uh without a doubt tropical blend took the award for me today anyway and, and again this is my own sauce myownsauce.com great folks over there they they like i said they reached out to me to try this for them and i was more than happy to do it and, and thank you again if you, i'm sure you guys will watch the video um thank you for sending this i enjoyed it i really did and my uh my wife's gonna enjoy both of these too she's not a hot sauce fanatic like i am but uh she likes certain ones she she likes the ones that are less hot with more flavor and those she will definitely love, I guarantee you that, and a lot of people would. So if, if you're looking for a good sauce that's not overpoweringly hot, it's not going to ruin the food you put it on, something you can add, a, a salad, or even stuff on a grill, the, the, this one seems like it could be so versatile. You could mix it into rice. You, you could do so many different things with this on fish, anything. Um, MyOwnSauce.com. Check them out good stuff you won't be disappointed all right i'm gonna go eat some more of that before my wife gets home from work <laughs> all right folks take care again myownsauce.com check them out tell them jeff sent you you won't be disappointed